Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Ace, and today I welcome you all back to another awesome episode of the Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Let's Play series on my channel. So, I actually started this recording, and I was trying to get to Fortree City, and I was just put into a cutscene, so... Let's just get right on into this episode, and I'll talk more about my absence in a bit. But anyway, here we have May, and she says, Ace, gosh, where have you been hiding? I've been looking all over for you. Oh, where did you get that thing on your wrist? That's a pretty fancy looking bracelet. Wow, so that's a mega bracelet, and you can use it for mega evolution? I guess now you can keep getting even closer to your Pokemon, huh? Some guys have all the luck, but I'm not about to lose to you at some accessory. Let's see who's the best in battle. Are your Pokemon all ready? Of course they are. Let's go. Oh my gosh, man. We're getting put right into a battle at the beginning of the episode? Alright, you know what? I like it. I like it. I like it. Alright, so let's see what May is going to say. She's going to send out a Wellamer. Alright, this is going to be interesting. Now, I think Wellamer is just a water type. Yeah, I think it's just water. So, I think we should be okay for the most part unless it has... An ice type move. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and switch out. And we're gonna switch out to our Pikachu that is fainted. Yeah! I forgot to heal my Pokemon. Best trainer ever. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're gonna switch out into Gecko. Yeah, and I think that she actually has a Blaziken as a starter. By now, she probably has either Blaziken or Combusken. Probably a Combusken, actually. So, that means uh, we better watch out for the switch in into Combuskin. Alright, the opposing team became shrouded in mist. I think what that does is it increases their evasiveness. We're going to go for a Leaf Blade. I think that's the strongest attack that I have on Gecko. I don't think it's going to be a one-hit KO. It's probably going to be... Oh, it's going to be a one-hit KO. Never mind. Alright, sweet. I like it. And let's see what she sends out next. Our Matang grew to level 32, not bad. She's gonna send out a Combuskin. Yeah, I called it. Okay, so we're gonna actually switch to... Goldie. Although, does Goldie have any... Let's see. Check moves. Oh, Goldie does have Surf. Oh, you know what? That is absolutely amazing. We can absolutely wreck Combuskin with Surf. I think this will be another one-hit KO, actually. Hopefully it is. That'd be pretty friggin' awesome if it is. Alright, so there we go. And Goldie's Intimidate is actually going to cut Combuskin's attack in half anyway. So it's not like Combuskin will be able to do too much damage to Goldie. So, wow. Our team is pretty strong against May's team. What? Not a one-hit KO? I'm actually surprised. Well, Combuskin's going to go for a Flame Charge. It doesn't do that many... It doesn't do that much HP damage. Which is good. Although Combuskin's attack, I believe, was increased... But Flame Charge isn't really, I think it only has like 40 damage on it. Isn't the base damage only like 40 or something like that? It's pretty low as it is. But there we go, Combuskin has been taken out now. It's her final Pokemon. I'm not too sure what her final Pokemon is actually. Kind of forgot, it's been a long time. You know, since I'm uploading these monthly episodes, a lot has, uh, a lot can happen. So she's going to send out a Shroomish. I guess I will switch out to, we'll switch out to Gabe. Because I'm not too sure if Shroomish is Grass and Poison, although I think it is. We'll just go with the Flying type. So that way we don't have to send out Matang or our Latias. Alright. Yeah, I think it's only Grass. Is it? I think it's Grass Poison. I'm, I'm not too sure. I know it's uh, Evolution. Breloom is... Wait, does that evolve into Breloom? Oh my gosh, I haven't played Pokemon in a long time. I think Shroomish actually does evolve into Breloom, and Breloom is grass fighting. I know that for sure. Alright, so there we go. Um, we didn't take too much damage. We're going to go for another Aerial Ace, and this should KO Shroomish. And there we go. That was a pretty easy battle, man. Yeah, super effective. And you know what? We're going to actually go back to the Weather Institute. It's not too far away, and we're going to heal up our Pokemon because uh, this battle was unexpected, and I thought I had my Pokemon all healed up, but anyway... This is what May says. You're as strong as I expected, Ace. Well, duh. What the heck else did you expect, man? Hmm. Well, you did battle me like I asked, so I'll give you a reward. Oh, we also got Fly now. Oh, that's going to be so useful for transportation. 
If you use Fly, your Pokemon will carry you back to anywhere you've been before, but you must have the Gym Badge from Fortree City to use Fly outside of battle. That's the most important bit, so don't forget. Maybe you should fly home and visit Little Root sometimes. I bet your mom worries about you, Ace. Well, till we meet again, and next time, I won't lose. Yeah, yeah, you always say that, May, but you always end up losing anyway, because you suck at Minecraft. Anyway, let's go ahead and head back on to the Weather Institute. There we go. Alright, sweet. Let's see. Um, I believe we're supposed to go into the bed to heal up. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Good gosh, man. Why was I not... Why, why did I have my Pokemon not healed up? That's so stupid. I thought I healed them up. But anyway... Let's continue on our adventure. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've last uploaded to this channel. I'm really, really sorry. Just got preoccupied with a whole bunch of other stuff. But now I'm back. And uh, we're actually going to be uploading a whole bunch of uh, DS games and stuff like that. Especially Nintendo games. Looking forward to uh, some of the new Nintendo releases. Because um, the new Legend of Zelda game, I'm so psyched for that. It was supposed to release this year. But unfortunately, um, something happened. I think the development was delayed for that game. And I believe Nintendo is releasing it next year, or maybe we might get a teaser at E3 this year. That would be sick. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. So we got some pomic berries, hopefully I'm saying that right, from uh, these berry plants. I'm not too sure what they do, but whatever. We're just going to collect them because I have a feeling they might come in handy later on. And we're going to continue making our way to Fortree City. Here we are, actually. And, uh, wow, there's a Pokemon Center right here. Let's talk to this old man just cuz. This city's homes are built on trees. Perhaps because of that lifestyle, everyone seems healthy and lively. Why, even I do. I feel as if I've grown 30 years younger since I moved here. Yeah, you know, you get that natural feel. That natural lifestyle. Using paper as... Using leaves as toilet paper, I mean. Yeah. I love this place, man. Fortree City looks so amazing in Oras. It's so incredible. I love it. I love it. I love it. The graphics, absolutely ridiculous and amazing. And hey, is that Steven Stone? Oh my gosh, it's freaking Steven Stone. It looks as though that Pokemon can be found up on Route 120. Is that him? I can't even remember what the character models look like anymore. I'm pretty sure that was Steven Stone, so we're going to go... We're supposed to go to Route 120, but you know what? We're not going to go just quite yet. We're actually going to find the gym. Not too sure where it is, but uh, that's what we're going to do. I have a feeling this might be it. No, I don't think this is it. I think there's just a house. Hmm, you smell singed. Were you out of a volcano or something? Kind of. Long story, man. Alright, I see a Pokeball right down there. Hopefully I can actually go ahead and pick that up. Oh no, there's like this pathway blocking me, huh? There's an invisible obstacle in my way. What, what are they called? What's that Pokemon? A Kecleon? I think that's what it's called. The weird gecko invisible Pokemon. Those things are so annoying. Yeah, it's probably what's uh, blocking my path. Um, I think we have to get some pair of like goggles or something to be able to see them. Although I'm not too certain. We're going to go and stop by the Pokemart because I have a feeling we need to actually get some more potions. So let's just go ahead and do that. Man, help you? Yes, please. Uh, we're gonna get some super potions. How many do we have? We have zero in bag. All right, yeah. So let's go ahead and grab like. Wait, how much? Oh, we've got a heck of a lot of poke dollars on us right now. Uh, let's get 25k's worth of uh, super potions. There we go. And you know what? We're gonna also grab ourselves some antidotes and some paralyzed heals because I have a feeling in this gym. We're gonna get paralyzed a lot, and we're gonna and we're gonna get poisoned a lot. And you know what? Might as well get some awakenings as well, because maybe, just maybe, um, the Pokemon might have sleep powder, and I hate that stuff. So let's go ahead and grab the awakening. There we go. All right, sweet. Let's just go ahead and uh, head over to the gym, which I believe is right over here. Not too sure. I think it's that one. Oh, it's right down there. Oh my gosh, wait, really? Wait, hold on. I think if we go down here, we might be able to... We might be able to have access to the gym. Not too sure. Alright, let's just see. No, really? Oh man, that sucks. So it seems like we actually do have to go to Route 120 before we can battle the gym leader. Oh man. Well, that's a bit of a struggle. 
The Pokemon life ain't easy. Alright, let's see. Where on our map is Route 120? This is Route 121. This is Route 120. Okay, alright, so it seems like we have to go to Route 120 and uh, contact Steven. So let's just go ahead and do that and let's just see. Uh, what is the order of our Pokemon right now? We have Matang. You know what? I'm going to keep Matang out, out front because he's like the safest Pokemon that we can uh, use as our first pick. Alright, so I think we should probably... Fortress City's over there. Okay, yeah, I know that. I got that. Um, There's probably like a Pokeball or something over there. Huh, not too sure. Alright, whatever. We're going to continue making our way down Route 120 and hopefully... We can find Steven. Do I have some repels? Please tell me I got some repels, man. Do I got some repels? I don't think so. No. Uh oh, I don't have repels, man. That sucks, dude. Wait a second. No, this is the key items. Okay, yeah, so it sucks that we don't have any repels. But, uh, you know what? It is what it is. Hopefully, we don't encounter too many annoying Pokemon. I swear we're supposed to go down here. Okay, yeah, there we go. Crossing over the bridge. Oh, hey, it's Steven. There we go. Hmm. Ace, so we meet again. How has it been? Have you been using the Mega Bracelet wisely? I suppose I needn't even ask, though. Not when it comes to you and your team. I wonder, have you noticed? Hmm. There's something here you can't see. Now, if I were to use this device on the invisible ob object... Obstacle, excuse me, my bad. No, no, rather than describing it, I should just show you. That should be more entertaining. Ace, are you and your Pokemon ready for battle? Sure, dude. In that case, I want you to take this. Try it on, I'm sure it will fit you. Alright, let's see. What does he give us? Weird pair of goggles. The Devon Scope. Alright, there we go. Yeah, it's a freaking Kecleon! A previously invisible Pokemon became visible to the naked eye. The startled Pokemon attacked. Alright, there we go, and a battle is going to ensue. Yeah, it's a Kecleon. The shiny version of Kecleons look really cool. I think they're like a blue color. Not too sure, but anyway, we're gonna go for a bullet punch straight off the bat. I mean, we don't we, we don't really have to catch this Pokemon. I think you can catch Kecleon in the wild anyway. So it's not like we will be missing out on anything. Whoa. That looks so cool. So it transformed into the grass type, huh? Uh, I guess we'll just go with Iron Head. Although, no, won't that resist? Yeah, I think it'll resist this attack, but we're just going to go with it. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. So uh, it's going to transform back into Steel. It's going to use Camouflage again, and it changes to grass type. Okay. And this should actually finish it off. And now we'll probably be able to use the Devon Scope to head back over to the Fortress City Gym. And have access to it. So that's awesome. Alright, there we go. Steven have anything else to say? Just as I expected. That's called the Devon Scope. It's a fantastic piece of tech that lets you see Pokemon in hiding. Consider it a gift from me. Take it. Alright, thank you very much, Mr. Steven. And one more thing. Oh, a Septolite. Yo, not bad, not bad. This stone ranks as one of my top five favorite stones in existence. I have no doubt that your Pokemon will like it too. You know, Ace, I like to see trainers and Pokemon who are trying their best. That's why I like you so much. Wow. Thanks, Steven. You're a good guy. Hmm. It seemed as though something just shone for a moment in your bag. I'm sure I sense the power of some kind of stone. A meteorite? No, it couldn't be. Let's meet again someday. Alright, I'm not too sure what he was talking about there, but I have a feeling it was um, due to an item in my bag. Although I'm not too sure what item I have exactly in my bag that triggered that. But it is what it is. We're going to continue moving along and we're going to head back to Fortress City. And what we're going to do is we're going to challenge the gym leader. Hopefully we can get through the gym in this one episode. So far, we've been recording for 15 minutes. I think we can do it. All right, let's go ahead and climb up this ladder, go down the other one, and head on over to the gym. So, yeah, I'm actually really excited to be finishing this game. I believe we're, like, halfway through just, like, uh, just getting to the um, Elite Four. Not even. 
I think so, actually. Don't we have, like, five, six badges? I'm not even too sure. Whatever. So, there we go. We saw the Kecleon, and it fled. All right, that's actually great, so we don't have to waste time battling again. And here it is, the Fortree City Gym. Let's go ahead and battle. I don't talk to this guy just because, because it's like a thing that I always do anyway. Yo, how's it going, champ to be ace? Fortree Gym leader Winona is a master of flying type Pokemon. Oh, yeah. Flying type? I thought this would be a grass type gym. Oh my gosh, yeah, I keep forgetting that this one's a flying type gym. That's why we get TM freaking fly from here. Or that's why, um, sorry, that's why, um, what's her face? May gives us. HM fly. Oh my gosh, whatever. She's waiting at the back of this gym behind the rotating door. She's waiting for new challengers who are trying to take wing. Okay, go for it. Alright, this is... It is what it is. Whoa, dude. This is so trippy. So trippy, man. So trippy. Oh my gosh, I love the updated graphics on these new games. Alright, so you know what? We're gonna have to... Wait, flying type, right? So, this should be no problem for Matang. Yeah, we're just gonna go as quickly as we can through the gym. Oh man, do we have to go through the other way? Okay. I'm gonna try and not battle anyone. There we go. And I'm gonna turn the XP share on, actually. Okay, there we go. So it was already on. Alright, sweet. Oh yeah, there we go. We passed two trainers. Wait. Oh my gosh, I have to do it again? <laughs> wow, what a troll. Alright. There we go. Hey, we did it. Okay. So, I don't think we can go this way. We're going to have to go up over here. Alright, sweet. And I think this is our first inevitable battle. Let's go ahead and get right on into it. Hopefully we can go ahead and uh, beat this little scrub at his game at a fairly quick pace. Because I just want to get to the gym leader. We're challenged by Camper Terrell. He's going to send out Doduo. Not bad. Alright. You got this Matang. Buddy old pal. Use Rock Tomb. And send this thing flying away. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. Oh my gosh. Not even a scratch, man. There we go. Please be one hit KO. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. One hit freaking KO. What? One HP? Are you serious? We're going to go for a bullet punch so we can attack first and not take any more unnecessary damage. However little it may be. There we go. I think he has one more Pokemon. What's his, uh, oh, he's gonna send out a Pelipper. Alright, so we're actually gonna go ahead and keep battling. And again, this should be another, <laughs> another easy battle. Um, I think one hit KO, maybe two. Because Rock Tomb, you know, um, oh wow, that actually did not do the damage that I had hoped it would do. I guess Pelipper's kind of tanky. Whoa, oh, it was a crit, okay, that makes sense. Okay, you know what? In this case, we're just going to go for a Zen Headbutt. Actually, that was a bad idea, wasn't it? Oh, whatever. It doesn't even matter. Freaking thing use Protect. Alright. So, we're actually just going to continue using Rock Tomb. It would actually suck if Matang were to be knocked out. So, hopefully that doesn't happen. What? Oh my gosh, that does super effective damage. Holy crap. Nuh-uh. uh 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 we're going to go in our bag and we're going to go ahead and heal up Matang. There we go, Super Potion. Goodness gracious, man, that did a lot of damage payback. I mean, granted it was super effective, but still, lots of damage. Alright, there we go. Oh, yay, Pelipper uses Protect, so we don't have to worry about getting hit with anything. We're going to go for Rock Tomb. Hopefully it doesn't use Protect again. Why does it keep avoiding the attack? Holy crap, you know what? No, this isn't, this is going nowhere. This is not going absolutely nowhere. I'm gonna have to switch out into our Pikachu. There we go. We're gonna switch out into Pikachu. Man, that's so annoying. Protect and Roost. This is such a stally uh, combo that the Pelipper is running. Alright, let's just go ahead and, uh, which does more damage? I forget. Spark or Electro Ball? The faster the user is, then the target. Okay, so we're just going to go with Spark. Because that'll do a lot of damage. Because Pelper is water and flying, so it actually does four times damage. Not to mention that we get uh, the stab bonus as well, because Pikachu is electric. Alright, what the frick, dude? 
Holy crap, Pikachu is a very squishy, squishy Pokemon. Oh my goodness, man, this is so annoying. This is actually the most annoying thing ever. Please, just use Spark. There we go. Finally KO'd this guy's Pelipper. That was really annoying. Gonna have to heal both of my Pokemon up. Alright. There we go. Although we did gain a lot of XP, which is always nice. Gecko wants to learn Slam. I'm actually going to keep the moves that I have right now on Gecko and give up learning Slam until, um, actually no, I'm not even going to get Slam. Slam's only a normal type attack. Why the frick would I want that? That's useless on Gecko. I've never seen a Grovile or, um, uh, Sceptile, uh, Pokemon with Slam in competitive. So, yeah. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and heal up our Pokemon before we get put into the next matchup, next battle. Uh, oops, there we go. So, this gym is flying type. Man, that caught me off guard completely, because I expected it to be a grass type Pokemon gym, but completely forgot. I really don't want to battle this guy, because he seems to be like one of those ace trainer guys. Or I think he might be like a ranger dude, not too sure. Whatever, we're just going to continue going this way. Um, I think, yeah, so we're going to have to go like this. Oh, okay, yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oops, oops, no, stop banging that thing. Wait, okay, there we go. That was interesting. All right, run. This is it, the gym leader. We did it. Oh my gosh, those things are so cool. Those like windmill things. That's so sick. Alright. Winona, here she is. I am Winona. I am the leader of the Four Tree Pokemon Gym. I have become one with bird Pokemon and I have soared the skies. Alright. Interesting. However grueling the battle, we will triumph with grace. Yeah, that's not gonna happen against me, man. Doubt it. What is this, Lollycon? Witness the elegant choreography of my bird Pokemon and me alright you are definitely gonna get taken down you psychopath she's like one of those like ice skaters but like for the sky like those aerial uh, what <laughs> that was the stupidest thing I've ever said um like one of those like I don't know whatever I'm just not gonna I'm just not gonna say anything because anything that's gonna come out of my mouth right now is just gonna sound stupid so I'm done alright there we go so, Swaylo is going to get pummeled by Rock Tomb. Oh, yay! Double team! That's always fun! Oh my gosh. I swear if it uses that more than once, this is going to be difficult. Alright, there we go. We decrease its speed. Oh, but still faster. Oh, I think Aerial Ace always hits first anyways. I'm not too sure though. Oh, no, no, no. It always hits anyways, but... um. It's still speed dependent. So I guess we were still a little bit more slower. But there we go. We've taken out Swaylo. First Pokemon did nothing to us. So that's good. That's actually great, man. Matang is getting all this XP. It's absolutely wonderful. Goldie also grew to level 29. Wants to learn the move Twister. We're actually going to... Uh, you know what? Yeah, we'll learn it. Oh, no. Oh, okay, yeah, there we go. So... Oh, wait, never mind. We already have Dragon Rage, right? Okay, you know what? We'll, we'll replace it for Tackle. Yeah. I think that's a safe switch. There we go. And this is just in case we come across any dragon type Pokemon because currently. Oh. And Altaria. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think we'll just continue battling, yeah. So Altaria, I think, is dragon flying? Or is that the mega evolution? No, I think that's actually dragon flying. So this is probably not going to be, this is probably not going to do too much damage to Alteria. Oh man. Yeah. It's not going to do a lot at all whatsoever. Okay, we're going to actually switch out into Goldie. This Alteria is level 35. Hopefully she doesn't have any dragon type moves because if it does, oh wait, never mind. What am I, what am I talking about? Goldie's water flying, so we're safe. I think we're safe. Oh, but what if it has Thunderbolt? Oh, it uses Earthquake and it doesn't do anything. 
Ha! Get wrecked! I didn't even know Alteria can use Earthquake. That was a good switch in on our part. Okay, there we go. We're gonna go for Twister. Because Dragon Rage only does a set damage of 40 HP. I believe Twister should be able to do a little bit more damage. Never mind. That was totally uh, bad, actually. Yeah, that was really bad. Um, so we're just gonna go for Dragon Rage. I forgot Twister doesn't have a very high base stat for damage. And that does a bit more damage, although... Alteria mitigates it using Roost, which is kind of lame. I hate when people have stally uh, comps. It's so stupid. Although it is a very viable strategy, it's just I don't like playing against stally combinations of Pokemon because it can get very frustrating at times. But anyway, we're just going to go for another Dragon Rage. Is this Pokemon really just going to use Roost all the time? Do we have to wait until it runs out of power points for that move? I think Roost has 15. Or 30. You know, it probably just has 15, actually. And it used it again! Yay! What a great Pokemon! Okay, there we go. Luckily, we're still able to hit. Now, I kind of want to go for a Paralyze Heal, but I have a feeling that the stupid Pokemon is just going to use Roost anyway, so... Oh, uh, don't know what to do. We'll just go and use a Paralyze Heal on Goldie. Right, there we go. Come on. Yeah, see, there we go. It used, for an, it used another roost. That's so stupid. I hate that. I think it can only do it, like, maybe, I don't know, ten more times? I think it used it about five times already. And Dragon Rage is going to be low on power points soon as well. There we go. Alteria goes for another Dragon Breath. Please don't crit. It does not. All right, there we go. It does less damage than it did before. Maybe the last one was a crit? I think so. I think the first hit was a crit. But anyway, there we go. We used another Dragon Rage, but it's going to go for Roost again. <laughs> so frustrating. Okay. I kind of want to regenerate Goldie's HP using a Super Potion, but I'm just going to go for a Dragon Rage. Alright. Now we just have to see what Alteria does. What, how are we outspeeding? Okay, it goes for Dragon Breath. Please don't crit. 8 HP. And I think this is GG. There we go, it's GG. Finally got rid of this pesky Pokemon. There we go. Sweet. Alright. So let's just see who she sends out next. Or is that all the Pokemon that she has? Pikachu wants to learn the move Nuzzle. I believe that's actually an electric type move as well. Let's just see how much damage it does. Nuzzle does... User attacks by nuzzling its electrified cheeks against the target. This also leaves the target with paralysis. I think I might switch that with Electro Ball because that's a surefire way to get uh, the enemy paralyzed. I, at least just from the context of the description. So, you know what? I think this is uh, a good move to have. There we go. Gabe grew to level 29. Sora grew to level 32. Sweet. Wants to learn the move Recover. Yes, we will actually go ahead and learn that move, I believe. Do we have any other moves that we don't need? Mist Ball. Um... Has the power of 70. Psycho Shift. Okay, you know what? We'll just switch Psycho Shift with Recover. I think that's uh, a bit better. Okay, there we go. And does she have one more Pokemon? I think she has one more Pokemon. She has another Pelipper. Alright, we're going to switch to... I guess we'll just switch to our Pikachu, right? Yeah, because it'll do more damage. Alright, sweet. So, we're going to go for a Nuzzle, which should do four times damage plus stab, and it should paralyze this Pelipper as well. And I think we are faster, so we should hit first. Oh, yay! It used Protect! Oh my gosh, this gym leader is so annoying. I swear, man. Alright, there we go. Let's go for Nuzzle. And it's gonna hit. Is it gonna paralyze as well? There we go. And yeah, there we go. It paralyzed. Sweet. Alright. Oh man, but a Water Pulse still hits. Hopefully that doesn't kill Pikachu. Okay, there we go. And I think we should just end things off with a Spark, unless it use... Oh, there we go. Pelper's not going to use a uh, Protect. That's awesome. There we go. We left no room for Winona to use a uh, Potion on her Pokemon either. Alright, sweet. And does she have one more Pokemon? I think she might have four. I didn't even check. Okay, this is her last Pokemon, Skarmory. So that's Steel Flying. 
Switch Pokemon. Do I have anything that... Okay, Steel Flying, let's just see. Uh, check moves. Steel and Flying. Hmm. You know what? We're gonna use Sora. I was reluctant to use Sora because I feel that using Latias is a bit unfair. Because just the base stats on legendary Pokemon, on most legendary Pokemon, they're absolutely insane. Um, as it is. But I'm just gonna use it because I'm fed up with this stupid gym leader and her stupid, stupid, stupid stall comp. So we're just gonna go for a Mega Evolution into Dragon Breath, which I feel should do a decent amount of damage. Alright, there we go. We're gonna go for Dragon Breath. And bada bing bada boom does almost nothing. Uh oh. Oh, it's not very effective? What? Wow. Luckily, Steel Wing isn't going to do too much damage to us either. So, the only other move that I have is Heal Pulse, which I think should do a lot of damage. But it probably. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What? I thought it was. Uh... Okay, I thought that worked out differently. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hello. Hello. User emits a healing pulse which restores the target's HP by up to half of its max. Why did I replace this with my attack? I th I'm pretty sure I had one more psychic attack, but I replaced it with heal pulse and now I have freaking recover as well. Oh my gosh, I'm the worst Pokemon trainer ever. We're gonna go for Mist Ball. That was an error. I thought heal pulse was like a move like water pulse, but it heal. I thought it was like, um,. Giga Drain, you know, where it does damage and it heals us as well. I didn't know that it heals the target's HP. That's dumb. I must have read that wrong. We're just going to go for another Mist Ball because I feel it does a little bit more damage and it has 100 accuracy anyway. So, yeah, might as well go ahead and use that. Although, I'm pretty sure... Uh, you know what? We're just going to switch out. We're going to switch out into... What Pokemon should we switch out into, man? Whoa, wait. Gecko has... Oops, not summary. Check moves. Leaf Blade, Mega Drain. Uh, all these attacks are going to be not very effective because that Pokemon's steel and flying, so... I guess we'll just switch out into Matang. Wait, I think steel versus steel. I think steel moves do um, super effective damage against steel-type Pokemon, I think. Not too sure, but if that's the case, then you know what? Might as well give it a shot. We'll just see right now, actually. Oh, it's not very effective. Okay. Alright. Or wait, or is Steel Wing a flying type? I'm not too sure. I'm Actually, you know what? I think it's probably a Steel type move. We're just going to go for Rock Tomb. Not going to do any damage whatsoever, but it does lower Skarmory's speed. I have no clue what to do right now. I don't know what moves are going to do what amount of damage. And why did I switch out, man? I shouldn't have switched up because I just realized that Sora had Recover as well, so we could have just recovered. Alright, there we go. Oh, that's awesome! Iron Head makes Pokemon flinch? Let's just go for this. Oh no, a Hyper Potion! This is so frustrating, man. Honestly, this is so stupid. <sighs> we definitely need a Fire-type Pokemon on our team. Or something that can get rid of Steel-type Pokemon. Because this is brutal. Alright, check moves real quick. Oh, we have nothing that's super effective against Steel. Alright. I guess. Um, okay, I'm going to stay in and I'm going to use a Super Potion on our Gyarados. And then we're going to switch into Gyarados and go for a Surf. Because I think that'll do the most damage to Skarmory right now. I think that I think that attack will actually do the most damage uh, to Skarmory than anyone else can on our team. And hopefully I'm right in saying that. Because otherwise, this is just going to be a painful battle. Alright. Oh my gosh, another Steel Wing. Yay! I hate this, like, team that she has. It's such a stall team. Alright, we're going to switch out into Goldie, and I think this shouldn't do too much damage. Steel Wing shouldn't do too much damage at all to Goldie, because I think water is actually resistant to Steel-type moves. 
Water type Pokemon are resistant, but I'm not too sure. And there we go. We actually cut the attack in half of Skarmory as well. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it doesn't do a lot. And let's just see. Please, Surf. Do a decent amount of damage. If not, then we do have Dragon Rage. Which will hit for the solid 40 HP damage anyway. Alright, so it does that much, which I feel is a good amount of HP. Plus, we're not taking too much damage in return. I'm going to go for Dragon Rage and see how much that does. Obviously, it's going to do 40. It's just more accurate representation. Because you can see um, the health of the Pokemon. Well, you can see the health bar. You can't see the actual health. And I think I'm just going to use the Surf. There we go. I think this is it. We beat the Gym Leader. Finally. So stupid, man. I hope that was her last Pokemon. Please tell me that was her last Pokemon. There we go, we defeated her, finally. Never before have I seen a Pokemon trainer command Pokemon with more grace than I. Yeah, that's because you haven't uh, seen me before. Now, at least. I recognize your talent and present you with this gym badge. Thank you, thank you very much. There we go, look at that, we got the Fortree City Gym badge. Not bad. The Feather Badge from Winona. With the Feather Badge, all Pokemon up to level 70, even those received through traits, will obey your every command. You'll also be able to use the HM move Fly outside of battle, and this, this is a gift from me. And I believe that's Roost, okay. Alright, I thought we were going to get the TM for Steel Wing, but Roost is fine as well. Roost, with this move, the user can restore its HP by up to half of its max HP by landing on the ground and resting its injured body. However, the user loses its flying type designation during the turn, so be cautious. You won against me. I know you'll keep aiming higher and higher. Someday, you may even fly up into the sky. That's the impression I get from you. Uh, little do you know, I have already done that, actually. I flew through the sky with Steven Stone on a freaking Latias, baby. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. On a legendary Pokemon. Bet you haven't ever done that before, Winona. But anyway, this is it for this episode of Let's Play series. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed watching this video. If you guys did, please be sure to punch that like button right in the face for me. As always, till the next episode, enjoy your day and take it easy, everyone. Peace. Bye. See ya.